Hello everyone, Jack Boyles with Steam Engines USA and I've got something here that a lot of folks have never seen uh, other than in a photograph. This right here is one of the only Jensen 40s that I know is out there. It's a super rare engine. Um, this is actually stamped if you can see. It's a Jensen Model 40. Uh, I actually bought this engine <laughs> several years ago and I forgot that I had the thing and I was going through some of my uh, older engines and I saw this and I was like well wow I need to do a video on it and put it out there for everybody to see. Uh, that one right there is the Jensen Model 30. It was from like 1954 I'm guessing. Um, I've actually got one of each of the verticals in my collection here at Steam Engines USA. Um, but this one I just run across it, pulled it out. Um, it's a pretty interesting piece. Um, I don't think anybody can really date exactly when this was produced. Um, possibly 1960s, 65, somewhere around there. Um, but... It is a number five. Uh, the interesting thing about this is it's got springs. See that? It's got springs up under the uh, little steam chest there. It's a little oscillating engine. I've never seen that on another Jensen steam engine, by the way. Those little springs under there. Um, as you know, Mr. Jensen never threw anything away. He never got rid of anything. Um, and so I'm guessing he had these same bolts and just put a spring on there to space it out so it would fit <laughs> but I don't know I don't know the story with those uh, but it is a vertical boiler it's one of Jensen's more favorite steam engines he liked these vertical uh, boiler engines uh, this little it's got a little bit of a bend in there but that's real thin material so you can bend it right back out uh, as you can see it's got it's just dirty uh, I've not cleaned it. I've not done anything to this engine. So uh, typically when I find an engine, I, I don't do a whole lot to it. Uh, I keep it pretty much as it is, especially when they're complete and they're in this type of condition. So super nice little engine. Uh, one interesting thing that I noticed about this engine is it's got the early little tiny hourglass <laughs> on here but on the steam line he used a straight one so it's not um out of the norm for mr jensen to do stuff like that he would use whatever parts he had available <laughs> so i almost got the feeling that he had some of these parts laying around and built this together put it together and here you are so um but it's just a really nice really clean engine and you can see it's uh never been off i don't think it's ever been off the board um you know a lot of times when collectors when we find these engines we'll take we'll remove the boiler and the engine off of boards like this, kind of like this one here. We'll take that off, clean everything, clean the board, and then put it back, screw it back down. But here, not so much. Um, so that one's pretty nice. Uh, this one's got the like straight handles on it. Um, so really cool engines. Um, but I thought I'd share that with you today. Uh, um, it's one you don't see every day. And like this cylinder, it's got a, um, it's basically domed. It's most of the time these little cylinders are flat. So I haven't exactly figured out uh, when it dates it. I just know 60, 65, somewhere around there. So. Just a very, very nice engine. Um, it's part of our Steam Engines USA collection. Um, so, figured I'd take a make a short video, 
share that with you guys. Uh, if you have any comments about it, put it in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Um, this is the... Um, actually, I can't remember if this came with that one or if it came with this one. Um, but that's the cord. I really don't... I know it's 1960s. I don't know if this is original or not. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Uh, hold that thought. So, this is the cord that came with it. As I was sitting there talking, I've got two cords, and I can't, I don't remember which one came with that one. But this one here, I'm pretty certain it was this one, because I had it up there on the shelf with it. Uh, so, it is... It's an early cord. And it's nice. Um, in nice shape. So that was the plug on it. So I don't know if that's been... Looks like it's got... Can't tell what's on there. Looks almost like a little piece of plastic or... Something right there. But anyway, a little acorn plug my little thing and then the way this works is you put the distilled water inside of there this will plug into the back here just like so plug that in in and it'll start heating up you got your little pop-up valve so once the water got too too hot it release release steam through it um, so I don't I actually don't even think I've taken that pop-up valve out of there. It looks actually be in really good shape. And the whistle is in good shape. Um, so yeah, just uh, I'll just heck, I'll just leave it plugged in there and set that right there like so. So yeah, um, and in case you're curious, right there's a. Uh, it's a Jensen Model 40. So really nice engine. Uh, I have not steamed this engine, but I know it works. I know it heats up. I've tested it. And uh, so there you go. Super nice Jensen Model 45. Excuse me, Model 40. And then uh, we also have a 30 on wooden base. So, uh, maybe I'll showcase that one one day as well. But just super nice engines. Uh, matter of fact, the only difference between the 40 and the 30 is that's got a 25 engine on it. And this one has a 5. Uh, they both have pulleys. See that? That one's got a pulley on it, reversing lever. Um, so, just super nice. And then this one I showed earlier, I got that in today. That was a nice engine right there, a riveted 25, um, 1930s. So, check out my other video for that one. But thanks for watching from High Point, North Carolina, Steam Engines USA. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching.